Hi guys, uh, welcome to this um, Arch Link setup, as you see up here. It's Arch, but it kind of looks different. I used the Arch Linux app, which is this one, AAG. But let's first update, because I've just made a new release for the AAG. And we've used, at the very beginning, we started clicking on this button here create your personal Arch Linux ISO then I've built in virtual machine Arch Linux while well, I've installed it with Arch install chose XFCE then went to get to the to the repo of Endeavor OS got the keys and the mirror list installed those added the list the, the repo to pacman.com and started installing all kinds of EOS stuff Endeavor OS so this is our look now because of all that. Then later on I said, hmm, maybe I'll get the right the Arch Linux repos, 800 packages there. And I've installed CHADWM with the Arch Linux tweak tool. Basically I've made four videos telling you, you can build anything, anything you want out of Arch as a basis and packages from other people. Now the topic I want to explain here as well is well, first of all this this data thing let's just delete it and remove it what's that data thing the power of scripting is enormous you can delegate all your work to the scripts and say go run this go do this and in case you're on arch and in case you're on archcraft you do that and so on so many of these things are in here if you're notch if you're on ALCI, if you're on Arshcraft, if you're on Arshman, if you're on Area, in Ariser, on Big Linux, all these things are very personalized. And the stuff I really don't want is here. I'm going to remove everything. So this is staying in control. Now, today, somebody asked, I would like to get rid of LightDM, SDM, LXDM, and use the Start X. And there is already something online, just well, first of all, go to the playlist. So Eric Dubois, not here. Don't search here. This is the YouTube, right? This is the world, but this is purely just us. There's not much because once you explain it, um, it's easy, right? Start X desktop. As it um, is no longer used, Explorer X in it and start X. So these guys are very recent, even though this is two years ago. This is five months ago again. And this time around, I'm going to go to personal, to settings, and in here is something that you can use or not use. It's up to you, but this is the X init RC. What is in here? This is in here. And if you see, if you look at it, this is the X init RC for C H A D W M. And I just told you, Control T, all the aliases are here. It has C H A D W M installed with the ATT. What if, right? And that's another a repeat, but what if you want to have no SDM? In this case, it's LightDM because it's chosen by Arch Linux, the Arch install script. So if I get rid of it, LightDM, and instead of the other video, which is getting rid of SDM, getting rid of LightDM, then um, I need to be able to boot up, would be nice, into this one. And then you see all this code. And this is basically the run from CHADWM with some extra stuff, Spotify and stuff like that, if you want it. This is key bindings, that's important. The background is nice. And then we go for the bar to have the bar. And finally we say, run it and all the rubbish, you send it to the X session errors. Okay, and here's some other stuff that I found online. So in case this, then do that, and in case that, and stuff, if you want to have other ideas or other things to launch, copy paste from somewhere online. So what I need to do, is get this thing 
control C, put it inside, we better open something new, control H, control V, and the dot inx RC. So change the name, a dot in front of it, x init RC, and then I have to get rid of the light gem. So we do pacman minus root remove and then there's a lot of light gem stuff in here. Light gem GTK greeter. Yes and light gem slick greeter. All of them are gone. And then he says you can't do that because required by another theme. EOS light gem slick theme and still another one I think. GTK theme, one more, it was light, that's it, voila, on block, they're gone, and if I do a sudo reboot, there is nobody to greet us, so after this, there has to be something, and this is nice. I used to have this like eight years ago. You log in, you go there, and then you see this, and then normal users say, what the hell? And then you type start X, and off you go. So don't show this message again. Making this bigger is again your job. Oh, there's no wallpaper. So the reference to the wallpaper does not exist, meaning pseudo pacman minus S, Probably, well, I shouldn't, shouldn't guess, right? Shouldn't guess. So in here, no, not in here, but in here, there is the X and it's RC and it's pointing to here. User share backgrounds, Arclex wallpapers. I thought as much, but there's an also another one, the Arclex background wallpapers. Or was it? Let me see. Yep, Archlinux wallpapers git and the Archlinux wallpapers git. That's the one we need. And now super shift R. Reload. Does not work. <laughs> Startex. And there you go. So you have your Startex to kick things into gear. Ooh, look at that big icon there and the rest is entirely up to you what we've not done for instance is the scripts that we have here there's a run and we've defined how big our screen is here so if we go here and tell him that my screen is a bit bigger than that uh, nowhere no screens nothing Okay, cool. Then you do, well, in the beginning, why not? You say run X render, but run is unknown. Yeah, it's unknown run. So just X render. Save, super X logout, it's not gonna work, right? Super, it's all, well, yeah, super X. Mm, that's possible, but logout into what? <laughs> into this, so start X. And there you go, we have XRender telling us how much space there is on my screen. So another video about StartX. There is no Super X reboot. We can reboot and show you one more time in what you will come after a clean start. There is no LightYM, SDM, nothing to greet us really. There is this, well, uh, there is something to greet us. And that's this. Right, and he thinks he's Endeavor OS, <laughs> but you used to be Arch, my friend. There you go, start X, and off it goes. All right, have fun with your Arch Link systems and enjoy.